Welcome to the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on refraction and lenses. The topic of this video is image formation by lenses. And we want to know how and why are images formed by lenses and how is a real image different than a virtual image. I'm Mr. H. Let's get started. This video is from our Reflection and Mirror series, and in it I discuss what an image is and how and why it is formed. I've left a link to the video in the description section of this one if you need to review it. An image is a representation or a replica of an object that is formed at a specific location in space where it seems to all observers as though the reflected or the refracted light is coming from. Here we see a light bulb placed in front of a plain mirror. When that light bulb is turned on, light from the bulb emanates in all sorts of directions, and some of that light strikes the mirror. Upon striking the mirror, it will reflect according to the law of reflection and diverge from one another. Any observer that sights along any of the lines of sight defined by a reflected ray will see an image of this object when sighting along that line of sight. The light's not actually coming from the image location, but to the observers it appears as though all the light is coming from that location, and thus they see an image at that location. This type of image is known as a virtual image, and it is always formed when the reflected light rays diverge after reflecting off the mirror. Here we see a light bulb placed in front of a concave mirror. When the bulb is turned on, some of the light from the bulb will strike the mirror, as shown by rays 1 through 7. What we know about ray 2 and ray 5, if we're familiar with mirrors, is that they will reflect like this. And once we know how they reflect, we'll find their intersection point, and that's the location of the image. Since all the incident light started from the same location on the object, all that reflected light will intersect at this image location. So we can draw ray 1, 3, and 4, and ray 6, 7, and 8. Any observer that sights along a line of sight defined by these reflected lines will view the image located along that line of sight. The light itself is starting at the location of the object bulb. It reflects off the mirror and intersects at the location of the image. And from there, the light diverges to the observer's eye. So when an observer sights along these lines, they see an image, a representation or replica of the object. This type of image is known as a real image because the reflected light rays converge upon reflection from the mirror. Here we see a light bulb placed in front of a converging lens. A converging lens can produce both real and virtual images, and in this discussion, I'll be discussing how a real image is produced by a converging lens. Light from this particular object location will refract through the lens and converge or come together at an image location. This image is a real image since the refracted rays are coming together or converging upon passing through the lens. If I know something about how a lens refracts light, I could predict the location of this particular image. For instance, this red ray traveling parallel to the principal axis and this blue ray passing through the focal point and even this green ray traveling through the exact center of the lens will refract as shown and will intersect at a point known as the image point. Since all of this light starts from the same location on the object, I know that any light that starts from that same location will also pass through this image location. So thus I could draw how the orange ray will travel and how the purple ray will travel through the lens. Each observer will sight along a different line of sight defined by one of these refracted rays, but at the same image location. And when they do sight along this line of sight, light comes from that image location along the line of sight to the observer's eye, giving the appearance of a replica or representation of the object, that is, giving the appearance of an image. For a diverging lens like this one, light always diverges after refracting through the lens. Thus, a diverging lens will always produce a virtual image located on the object side of the lens where the refracted light appears to come from. This image location can be identified by taking each of the refracted rays and tracing them backwards to the object side of the lens where they will eventually intersect. The intersection of the extensions of these refracted rays is the image location, and any observer that sights along a line of sight defined by these refracted rays and directed at the image location will see a replica or representation of the object at that location. 
In the next video of this tutorial series, I will be discussing how to construct ray diagrams for converging lenses, but the foundational principle for doing it has been presented in this video. Images are located at the location where refracted rays intersect. For real images, light from the same point on the object will pass through the lens, refract, and converge or come together at an intersection point. That's the image location for a real image. For virtual images, light rays from the same point on the image will pass through the lens, but instead of coming together, they will separate or diverge from one another. But the refracted rays can be extended backwards to the object side of the lens to locate an intersection point or an image location. Ray diagrams are based on this understanding that images are located where the refracted rays intersect. It's at this time in every video that I like to help you out with an action plan, a series of next steps for making the learning stick. But before I help you out, could you help us out by giving us a like, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a question or comment in the comments section below. Now for your action plan. Here are a few resources that you'll find on our website, and I've left links to each in the description section of this video. You have a couple of simulations that are pretty fantastic, and you have a tutorial page on the same topic of image formation. Whatever you do, I wish you the best of luck. I'm Mr. H and I thank you for watching.